let's quickly talk about pros and cons of living in australia okay it's lola Ledita if you're seeing me for the very first time let's get right into it if you're hoping to migrate to australia i hope you enjoyed this video so i'll say the pros um standard of living here is really good life is good here for me i feel safe like safety wise it's been good i like there's not that thing of waking up at night where it's like oh like just being scared no i don't feel like that um everyday things i'll say yes there's inflation now but depending on how much you're making and how you spend your money well disclaimer this is not financial advice or anything the opinions in the video are mine are mine only so everyday things are relatively affordable to a level yes things have gone up but i feel like the longer you live in a place for me after living in my city for about four years now i know where to get certain things for for cheap so if we're talking about um things like um what we call it things like um toiletries i know what shops to go for toiletries if it's like goat meat and all those things i know what shops to go to if it's um yeah i just know what shops to go to to pick up certain things okay so that is another thing um every things are relatively affordable if you're not living above your means okay it is beautiful australia is a beautiful beautiful country landscape is tasmania where i live is now chef's kiss extra if i find photos i insert photos of what my city looks like and it's just beautiful um good quality of living i would say like everyone has a chance if you apply for the job if you are if you're eligible or if you are qualified you get that job it doesn't matter if you don't know anybody or anything like that it is possible to get a job i'll say they have a strong economy people are polite i'll say in my city i don't know about other mainland i'm on the island people are really polite you, you walk on the street people are smiling at you people are nice to you maybe if you i remember one time i went running and like i was just tired from my run and i was like bent over like that and a lady was walking at, along the park and she actually stopped she's like are you all right i'm like yes i'm fine thank you like it's just those little little things that you might not consider sometimes i know in the big city everybody's like minding their business but in my small town people are nice okay i would say people are very nice it is australia is very diverse and multicultural there are a lot of ethnic ethnicities i mean is that english a lot of ethnic groups around here and it blows my mind you see like i would say in my city right now there are more blacks in my city right but when i came like four years ago it was like a ghost town there were not a lot of blacks but like more people are coming in there are indians there are uh, chinese there are asians like you find philippines you find very diverse people here in australia and it just it just feels really nice to like see foreigners living here it's just beautiful okay um and you make good money depending on where you work like there is a basic minimum wage and that is how much you should be paid at the minimum and with your minimum wage if you live in like maybe shared accommodation or something if you cannot afford to live by yourself then you would make good money i don't know if that makes sense okay the cons of <laughs> living in australia something you should know if you are moving planning to move to australia rent is paid either weekly or every two weeks just yes have that at the back of your mind rent is paid every week or every two weeks so that can be very annoying because i know in nigeria you just pay once a year and you are done that can be good and it can be bad sometimes so here you have to spend wise and know when it's time to pay there's nothing like you're owing landlord salary if you're owing salary ah, sorry landlord rent if you start owing money they'll probably kick you out at some point because it's always in the agreement you sign things are very like legal here yeah, there's no back this thing i was listening to a podcast and i was talking about how landlords do not take responsibility for certain like maintenance and repair here like you have crazy landlords <laughs> don't even get me started on the the amount of crazy landlords i've had to deal with over the past few years but like regardless in all of that to a level they still have some kind of sense where if something spoils in the house they know it's their responsibility to fix it okay another thing is um it can be hard to make friends i would say one is already hard to make friends as an adult now you're living in a different country it's even harder to like connect with people and make new friends okay so that can be a bit tricky sometimes so just think about that loneliness and then there's that feeling of like oh do i really belong here kind of thing and yeah it's it's there sometimes mainly because 
if you're single yes if you have your family like husband and kids or something like that or vice versa it might be a little easier because you have your family to stay connected to um to beat loneliness i talked about that in another video i'll link that up here um things you should do um hard work is like expensive when i say hard work uh, ah i said hard work and the work is like expensive so like if you want to like get an electrician get a plumber uh, the weather is reversed i don't know if we we'll call that a con or a plus because the con for me would be like you never experience white christmas i really miss white christmas from when i lived in russia where there was snow in christmas i associate in my head i still associate snow with christmas you get but at the same time, it's nice when the weather is nice. You can actually go out in December and have fun. Whereas every other place in the world, it's winter. So I don't, I can't, I can't relate to that. Okay, we're finally getting out of winter and it's just so nice. Um, but yeah, I think those are like the pros and the cons of living in Australia. It's, yeah, I think it's different for different people. So think about your why before you move to Australia. Why do you want to move here? What do you want to achieve and all of that and i hope you found this video useful australia is a beautiful country i would say even if you're not coming here to live if you want to go on vacation consider australia australia is chef's kiss gold coast is beautiful i have to go back there i've been there once i'd love to go back so like there's so many things and so many places to see in australia so consider that if you ever think of traveling or yeah so i say those are the pros and cons like after living here for six years i can say yeah everything is not perfect but it is good you can live a good good life here depending on what you are after okay and i hope you found this video useful helpful in one way or another don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and hi baby girl lolita i'll see you all in my next video okay Bye.